Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Black Girl's Guide to Van Life. My name is Abi Yaf, and I share my van life journey and show you how you can live your joy, even if it's in a minivan. In the last Black Girl Guide to Van Life video, I talked about camper van no-build portable kitchen. I also talked about food safety and keeping foods at safe temperatures. So in this video, I am going to be talking about ways of keeping cold foods cold. There's nothing like having a cold drink when it's warm outside. In van life, you may be wondering, what are my refrigeration options? How can I keep my food at a safe temperature? And towards the end of this video, I will share with you what I use as refrigerator in my minivan. This video is not sponsored by anyone. However, the refrigerator that I have is in my Amazon storefront, which I am affiliated with Amazon. So if you click on my storefront, my Amazon affiliated link down in the description box below. There you will find all of the products that I have purchased from Amazon for my lifestyle. With that being said, check out that link below. You gotta excuse this Target thing right here, okay? Before we go any further into this video, I wanna give the following subscribers a shout out. Thank you so much for being here, watching my videos, subscribing, and your comment engagement. I truly appreciate it. Thank you guys so much. Without you guys, this channel will not be. So thank you, much love. Let's get into it. Not everyone that does van life has some type of refrigerator. Not everyone has it and you can actually do van life without a refrigerator. It's all about your personal preference. But if you decide that you would like to have a refrigerator, there are a few questions that you may wanna ask yourself. Like, how much food would you like to store in your refrigerator? And that will also depends on how willing, how often are you willing to go to the grocery store? And will you be keeping frozen foods? Do you have the space for the refrigerator? And the most important part is how are you going to keep the internal compartments of that refrigerator cold? The most used refrigeration options used in van life are standalone coolers or 12 volt refrigerator slash freezer. When I think of a cooler, I think of family cookouts at the park or in the backyard. It seemed to me that the coolers were able to do its job. It kept all the drinks cold. Well, you know, as long as you kept on replenishing and supplying the ice, it would do its job. So when I first started van life, I started off with the cooler. And these are my thoughts. I didn't quite like that <laughs> at all. Um, I didn't like it. You have to bag your food up a certain way in Ziploc bags and sometimes those are not 100% waterproof because your ice melts and your food ends up swimming around in ice water basically. And then you got to keep replenish replenishing the ice and I no, it, it was too much of a hassle for me. I personally wanted a refrigerator. Some of the reasons why I wanted a refrigerator was I wanted to have cold water at hand. I wanted to be able to buy several meat items at a time and keep them at a safe temperature without worrying about having to get ice all the time to keep them cool. Um, you know, if I go on a four or five day camping trip or something where I want to stay parked for four or five days or a longer period of time, I can do that with the refrigerator. Choosing a refrigerator is also important to how your van is going to be to design the layout of your van. Um, you know, refrigerators, portable refrigerators can come in all different shapes and sizes. It's all depending on what you have room for and what do you want to use it for. 
how do you want to use it do you want it to be just a refrigeration do you want to be able to freeze things in there as well do you want a one compartment um, where you it can either be a refrigerator or a freezer or do you want one that has the, the divider where you have both the fridge and the refrigerator with the divider those matter also assess how do you want to assess your food in there they have some that are front opening and some that are top opening as well having a refrigerator in your camper van is very much possible even if you have a small vehicle like mine a dodge grand caravan you can still have a refrigerator and it does not take a lot of power now when i bought my personal refrigerator my portable refrigerator you know i i did make some accommodations to be able to house my refrigerator um which is right down here that's why i built this shelf because i wanted to be able to tuck my refrigerator away and still have room for other things to store so we built this shelf <laughs> we built this shelf based on the refrigerator okay and it just happened to be with the passenger seat pushed all the way up um, and everything, we were able to accomplish that and the refrigerator fit perfectly in between this spot with the shelf. So I did make some accommodations to fit my fridge. Otherwise my fridge would be just out in the open and I did have it like that. And you gotta utilize your space to the best of its ability. Now with the advancements of technology today, you guys, okay? There are so many options out there for you, for you, for you, for all sorts of budget categories, okay? There are there are ways to power a refrigerator. You would think that you would need an AC outlet for your like in the, in the house to power a refrigerator. No, honey. <laughs> we got it. We like I've had some part of it. No, I didn't. Okay? I'm just a consumer. But they, whoever they are, have been able to make 12 volt refrigerators. And there are several ways that some of these refrigerators can be powered by. One is 12 volt, um, 12 volt. Another is your AC outlet, which is your wall outlet in your house. Um, another is solar, yes. There are refrigerators that can run off solar. Mines do have that capacity to run strictly from solar. Now, of course, like anything else in America, there's a high-end product and a budget product. <laughs> so if you really want to go high-end, you can go with a Dometic type of freezer, refrigerator. They have all sorts of sizes and varieties. Or if you're looking for more of a budget-friendly type of refrigerator, you can go with something like an Alpacool. What I've learned to love about my 12-volt refrigerator is it's low power usage, making it great for my 240 Jackery and the sun for off-grid living. So the options that you have basically to keep your foods at a safe temperature, cold or frozen, you have the option of a 12 volt compressor portable refrigerator, or you have the option of a standalone cooler, which is what I talked about earlier. You have to keep putting ice in it. Okay, so those are, those are options that you can have. Now, if you wanna deal with ice, that's on you. More power to you. Now with the refrigerator, you will also need to know how much power do you need to run it? And that was one of my scary moments when I purchased my refrigerator because I had bought my, my Jackery first and it's only the 240 or the two something Jackery. Um, yeah something like that so it's one of the smaller jackeries and i was so afraid that it wasn't it wouldn't would not be able to power my fridge but it does what i have is a 12 core alkypool compressor refrigerator which is right here and i am going to get that out for y'all i might need two hands my refrigerator usually stays hooked up to my jackery right here 
this refrigerator does have a battery protection unit on it, but I think since I use it with the Jackery, it's not able to sense that. I don't know. So, um, anyways, so let me unplug these so I can pull out the refrigerator. What I have here is an Alki pool refrigerator, compressor refrigerator. Let me turn this around. Okay. And this thing right here operates as a freezer and a cooler. So temperatures can go all the way down to negative four degrees um, to create the freezer. Anything below zero is freezing. There are several different ways that this refrigerator can be powered. Um, your AC home outlet, your 12 volt um, plug, which is right here in my Jackery. This is my 12 volt. Okay. And um, your car, it can run from your car battery and it can also power from solar. Isn't that awesome? <laughs> when I was reading the specs on it and it said that there was, oh, okay, it does. I was looking at that, I never used it. It's a USB port, so you can actually charge your phone right here. You can actually charge your phone. I've never used it for that reason. Anyways, so there are several ways that this baby can stay powered, which is great for me because it leaves me several different options. The majority of the time, this baby is being ran off my Jackery and off solar and um, my Jackery. I do sometimes charge my Jackery with my car battery while I'm driving, okay? This refrigerator also has a car battery protection. So it has a function in there that can detect when your car battery is low, it will shut off to save your batter, to save your car battery. So to make sure that your car won't go dead. So it comes with this LED display light, which is great. So here's your off, your off and on switch. You turn it off and you turn it on. Um, here's your settings control, um, which I'm not really going to mess with right now. Um, your settings control, and then here's where you control your temperature. I have mine set at 41 degrees. Um, so right now it's trying to, um, it's maintaining the 41 right now it looks like so it's at good temperature right now um the one thing that i will say about this display lighting is at nighttime when you're trying to sleep you will see that light this light can be annoying so if you can just set something over it a paper or a book or a sock or something that usually takes care of it now, if you listen loud and clear, you can hear it running. Oh, okay, car, gone somewhere. You can hear it running. So it doesn't make a lot of noise when it's running. Surprisingly, it's very quiet. You don't lose any sleep. It's running right now, but you really can't hear it. Even at night, it's surprisingly quiet. I'm a type of person that always sleeps with a fan at night. So a little humming noise or something like that in the background, it kind of soothes me. It doesn't bother me much, but even if I wasn't that type of a person, this would be fine. Another factor that I like about this refrigerator is it does not run constantly. With the installation that it has in here, once it gets to its temperature, um, it shuts off, you know? And if it, there it goes, it shut off. It's down to 39 degrees on here, 39. It's not running and it probably will be off as long as I don't open it for a good, what, 30, 30 minutes, 20, 30 minutes. 
maybe a little longer depending on the outdoor temperature and the indoor temperature of my van. Um, it doesn't run all the time, which helps to save energy. So when it's not running, as you can look and look at my Jackery, the output says zero. So right now it's drawing zero watts from my Jackery. That's what I love about this thing, okay? Now, since I do have a smaller Jackery, I do find myself having to, uh, the Jackery can only handle probably about a day and a half of the refrigerator. After the day and a half, it's time to cut, it's time to re, charge my jackery now i have found that depending on the season if it's winter time your refrigerator is not going to run nearly as much as it does in the summertime okay so i did come across that through experience through the winter and now we're here in the summer it runs a lot more in the summer than it does in the winter which makes sense right yeah now they said on the product's specifications, they say that the refrigerator weighs about 19 pounds, 18.88 pounds, which is just like 19 pounds with not anything in it. So it, about, you know, 19 pounds, that's really not heavy. So while we're at it, let's go take a look inside the fridge. Okay, so here we are. It's a tight seal. You can still open it with one hand, but it's still tight. Okay, so I'm going to show you some wonderful benefits that this refrigerator does have. Now, it does look very tiny. Why? Because it is. But right now, since it's been really hot in Missouri, I buy these little bottles of water, which fits perfectly in my refrigerator. I love it. Um, eggs. I got some jam and some pineapples in there. Now, usually on some days, I can store at least a week's worth of food in there. If you shop right and you shop smart and you package right, okay? So this thing can even hold a two liter soda, a two gallon thing of milk, because this thing right here has um, lifts up. So it can hold something up that's tall because you are, you know, it fits right there because you have that extra space right there. So you can stuff a lot in there, surprisingly, okay? Other than that, it is a small fridge, but it works perfect for me. It's small, it's petite, it's chic, you know? And then you have this wonderful seal around here that helps to seal in the coolness and stuff. And you can, and you can also use this as a freezer, which I have never done yet. Um, I just never used a freezer yet, but if I do need it, um, if I want to store some ice cream or something, I definitely could do that as well. And you close it. See, now it's running again. So it's running at 37 watts. It's only going to run for a minute for, you know, for a few minutes till it gets back up to temperature or back down to temperature. It's at 43 now. So it really doesn't draw a lot of power. And then when I'm done with it, I just, I'm gonna try to do this with one hand. Y'all know, your girl be challenged. Okay. Oh, there we go. Just fits right on in there. See, tucks away. And that goes right there and it stays powered simple as that and then when I'm when I get in my car to get ready to drive I just kind of from the from the front seat I reach back to grab my Jackery charger and I plug it in and that's where my Jackery starts getting power from the car battery and the fridge is getting power from the Jackery that's how I do mine. And then if I'm somewhere like a campsite or on the beach, even sometimes at a, a park where I feel like I got a little bit of privacy, I have no problem with pulling out my solar panels, having this, this you know, and supplying energy 
to my refrigerator that way. No problem at all. So it's all about you, girl. <laughs> you know, I like to cook, you know, and having a refrigerator has really made my van feel like a home. Now you can't fit a whole lot in there. When I first started my van life, you know, um, I was buying things like condiments because mayonnaise, mustard, barbecue sauce. I mean, girl, you can't uh, fit all that in there. I think that's just a waste of space for me. So what I do is whenever I go to a fast food joint or a restaurant of any sort, <laughs> I always ask for condiment packets mayonnaise ketchup mustard ladies i hope this has helped you decide one if a refrigeration system is for you now i can't tell you how to wire it up how to set a solar on top of your car how to wire it to an inverter i can't do all of that stuff are we gonna leave that for the experts which i am not one of them okay <laughs> I'm not her, but this is also a mini car refrigerator. So this will fit in your car. So it works for me, you know, later on down the line, if I get something bigger, I definitely will upsize my refrigerator. But for now it works, I love it. And I hope that when you make your decision on buying your mini fridge, your compressor 12 volt fridge, I hope you love it as well. I'm gonna let y'all in on a little secret. The whole time I was filming right here, you guys, it really stinks right here. It smells like mold, mildew, mold. So I'm pretty sure it probably flooded in this area. But it stinks and I'm getting the hell out of here. Yeah, yeah. Peace! Okay, so I stopped at Dollar General. And I stopped here because they have some food here. Well, obviously they have food, you know that. But they have some food that are packaged in smaller containers that's perfect for van life. So I'm going to show you some of those options. Look at this. This is a, an eight ounce jar of seasoning salt instead of the real big one. A little small, what, 1.5 ounce container of black pepper perfect for van life. Usually your baked beans come in like these pretty huge sizes, okay? But they also have some that come in smaller sizes, you see? So you can pack that up. And Bushes is the most name brand, right? You can pack that and it saves space. A small thing of almond butter, that's what? Uh, 10 ounces a small container of Worcestershire sauce <laughs> a small thing of um, red hot wing sauce it's smaller than what you would buy at the grocery store it's a dollar ninety. but I don't know when you go to these stores like the family dollar and stuff like that dollar general uh, all that stuff dollar store I would just keep my eye open for um little items that normally come in bigger sizes at your normal grocery store and you can buy them sometimes here in a smaller quantity and not cost you an arm and a leg so that's just something that you know i ran across and i'm like you know i'm gonna start looking into that more for myself um <clears throat> when i stop at these stores so it's good to know what's what they have available um, and where you can go to buy it. So I just wanted to leave that at the end of this video. That's all. Okay, I'm going for real this time.